Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Alternate Table. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what if Deseret became a U.S. state. Now, if you don't know, Deseret was a state proposed by Brigham Young, who was the prophet of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormons as they're more commonly known. I'm going to be using LDS in this video as it's a shortened version of their actual name, and I find Mormons offensive, so let's get into it. 1848, and the territory maps look like this. As you can see, Deseret is there, and something weird's going on with Arizona. That's just the program. I didn't actually draw it like this. So, yeah. With this happening now, also Louisiana and Arkansas are merged. Once again, the program has broken the map. But anyways, let's get into it. The South is about to uprise in 3, 2, 1... With the South Uprising, Deseret needs to decide between joining the CSA, which they did in our timeline, at least the territory of Utah did, or staying with the Republic, which is what the Northern Utah Territory did. So, with this issue divided, and the Civil War now raging on, they would need to quickly decide. But first, we need to go ahead and talk about what ended up happening. First of all, with Deseret now becoming a state, they would see an increase in population and, in fact, resources overall, as what their original purpose was and why Congress denied them in the first place. So, with a rising population and growing state, they would be a vital territory. But still, the USA, and the CSA for that matter, all hate the LDS people. So, what would happen? The USA would be, sure, join us, but you can't really do anything, and the CSA would outright reject them, seeing them as just an inconsequential state, because well, after all, what could they really do? So Deseret would have to make their choice, and they would. So choosing to remain in the Union means they just get oppressed more, and joining the CSA is no longer an option. They would also create their own new state, well, country rather, the country of Deseret. And the CSA, not wanting to interfere with such a large populous state, knowing that they would just fight on their own, and the federal government worrying more about the Confederacy than this small little uprising and not really wanting to miss the LDS, would choose to stay calm. Deseret, meanwhile, would be t making talks with those in California. Deseret would split the Northwestern Territory with California, California creating the Pacific States and joining Utah in a mutual assured defensive pact. This defensive pact would be used to great effect, and now with Deseret lining up troops along the border, the federal government would start to get worried and pull away troops from the main fight over to try and stop the Confederacy, rather Deseret. Now, with the lack of troops up north, the CSA would quickly advance into Northern Territory. The only real reason is troops advancing into Virginia would be the downfall of the CSA. Meanwhile, Deseret would start growing more and more with millions of people starting to sign up, hundreds of thousands of them. And California would start sending troops in to help them. Grant's army would start pushing down, but this would rather seem great effect as just rather a bulge in the Confederate lines, and now they would start making progress towards just invading DC. Lincoln now seeing that his election would just be destroyed and they would surrender anyways, would at least want to end this conflict before an election happens, and would decide to surrender. The CSA and USA would now come to a draw, where the US would be forced to surrender and the CSA would reign victorious, keeping their independence and taking a couple more states. Overall, this would hurt the US, but now the Confederacy would turn to over to try and conquer Deseret. But first, there might be another option. 
Now, with the USA firmly divided, some other investors might see an opportunity to try and take land away. Deseret and California still having their mutual defense pact, fearing an either Confederate or Union invasion, would start keeping their armies drafted and prepare to fight another bloody war against their brethren. But with all of the troops in the North and Mexico seeing a divided U.S. as a great opportunity to conquer would strike in the South, quickly rushing through the desert into territory now populated. Quickly, the Alliance forces, which I'll now be calling them, would start pushing in to try and take them out once and for all. The Second Mexican-American War would be much as it did in the first, where Mexico supposedly invading them in our timeline, but in this timeline, Mexico actually invading them and then being pushed back inch by inch. More and more across the desert fighting, casualties would be more heavily reduced by disease and heat stroke rather than actual fighting, but the Utah and California forces would start moving in to wrap the now, with the Mexicans having time to prepare and seeing the force, would start digging trenches, giving an example once again to the Europeans on how to fight proper wars. Though, the Europeans would ignore this, so World War I would just be as bloody, not caring about Utah, a one big desert, and maybe a couple mountains and fields, or the Pacific states, just basically beach land. Breaking through the defensive lines, Baja California would be left for the California forces to conquer, while Utah would start taking more and more land from the Mexicans, using help of friendly LDS supportives as well that was in the mountains at this time period by the expeditions from Brigham Young. This would start helping the Americans as getting more and more forces to help them who want to join America. Now, with the Mexican government seeing another defeat and not wanting to waste even more Mexican lives than they had in their civil wars and the first Mexican-American war, would decide to surrender. This would lead to Americans and Californians trying to create a peace de- treaty, keeping their defensive pack, and the federal and c- confederate governments seeing them as an actual threat and power, rather than just a The Mexican government would then officially surrender after a coup storming the palace. And with that happening, the CSA and the USA would form their own defensive pact against the Deseretians and the Pacificans. And now, Mexico would also become a puppet state. This would overall hurt the Mexican government more than it did in our timeline. California would take Lower California, and Utah would take the LDS-populated regions of Mexico, well, at least Western Mexico, as there was a larger population in the East at this time. And Mexico would officially become a puppet government and join the Americas Pact, the official alliance between the Pacific states, the Deseret states, and the new Mexican states of America. If you want to learn more about the LDS faith or other mythologies, why not check out my friend Mythology Guy and his Mormon series, which should be in the cue card right about now. And so, I hope you guys like, make sure to subscribe, and remember one thing. Have a good one. Goodbye! I still have five seconds to talk, and then there's another thing. But yeah, truly, check him out. He's... Ooh, what a great video. Um, at the time of recording this, we're almost at 169 subscribers. We skipped over 69 subscribers, hitting exactly 75, which I'm glad we did, but we missed out of a <laughs> funny number. So let's try and get one more subscriber if we already have it already produced a video on it. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a good one. And yeah, I updated the... 
Wow, what a great video. On the right is the first part of the Mormon series by Mythology Guy, and on the left, well, that's a video YouTube thinks you should watch. So why not watch it? I mean, what else do you have to do? We're all in quarantine, or are we? Hmm? Well, goodbye!